<laughs> well, it's over now. If it was a week ago when I was doing this, I'd be like, okay. <laughs>I feel like it gave me like a lot of opportunities, not just in this class, but outside of this class. So like for example, my independent study project, that was like completely unique and something I'd never done before. And then like NCWIT, NWAPW, those are all things I got to experience and participate in that I wouldn't have been able to do had I not been in this class. Um, well, it made me realize just how much I enjoyed computer science and how I kind of really want to do that in my future. I've always been like down the medical path. And so I got into this like conflict between computer science and the medical field. And I just, that's how I discovered what biomedical engineering was. And it's how I discovered that that's what I want to do in life. Um, well, it's very independent oriented. So you can really go at your own pace and learn at your own pace, which is really helpful for me, especially since I tend to struggle to understand like algorithms and concepts a lot more than I do with like actual coding. I'm able to do that really easily. So I'm able to get that part down more easier and I'm able to spend more time rereading and reading over and over again an algorithm in class and going back through step by step and like drawing. I love the whiteboards so like it's really nice to, be able to draw diagrams uh, and like you know illustrate your thinking as you're going which is especially great when you're like trying to code an algorithm you're like what am I doing again and what are all the steps so Yes, I'm really proud of my um, independent study project. Uh, when I began, I didn't know anything about it or how to do it. And I just remember being super frustrated and not knowing what to do. And then once I figured out what support vector machines were and that that could be a way to do it, I spent another week of like feeling awful and not understanding them at all and wanting to quit. <laughs> and then I like, got some help from you and I just kept like going over and over again and reading more and more articles about it. And I mean, now I'm just so proud of how far I've come. Like now I've written a program that implements them and uses them and uh, tries to interpret ASL. And that's awesome how much further I've gone, so. I use support vector machines um, to take EMG signals from a myo armband to then process them uh, and try to interpret ASL uh, hand gestures. So like alphabet like A, B, C. And it ultimately ended up that I was able to distinguish between A, B, and C very well. And then as it added on more letters because of the, like, I guess similarities between training, training data, uh, the support vector machines had a more difficult time distinguishing uh, certain letters. Um, I learned how to learn independently, um, especially when we were running like algorithms and like complex uh, subjects. Uh, because it's very like independent driven so you're learning on your own and I learned how to find what resources work better for me and I also found out you know how to really take on very difficult and hard to understand things and um, how you know even if you don't understand looking uh, at something the first time how going back and just going through it again and again uh, helps you understand it better and can really give you this like sudden like solid understanding of how things work.